I'm Dana Friedman, and I'm a board member of Eshel. So, another day cooped up in my apartment. I miss seeing my friends. I miss the normal things. Performing stand-up comedy for live audiences. Clothes shopping. Going to shul. Oh, I love my shul. I love the rabbi. There he is. That's right, you saw him earlier. Now see, I did not point straight up. That would send the wrong message. I'm not one of those people who thinks her rabbi is God. He's really terrific. Not God. He has a great sense of humor. We're friends. He even calls me D. He's among the most welcoming and LGBT-friendly Orthodox rabbis. There were no synagogues like ours when I was growing up. The first one I remember was called the Sasserver Stiebel, much stricter than my family. The guys were on the ground floor leading services. The women were one flight up. I was so scared and confused about gender, I didn't know where to sit. When I was eight, my father exiled us from the city to the suburbs. I didn't fit in. I had friends. But then, from sixth to eighth grade, my father exiled me again to a school far more orthodox than my family. The classes were gender separated, and boys who didn't play sports were considered weird. They thought I was gay. Mostly, I just wanted to learn more about being feminine and to feel normal around somebody in that hellhole. Luckily, the high school girls heard me playing guitar and asked me to accompany them while they sang. Now, boys and girls weren't supposed to talk to each other. I got in trouble, and my classmates were bewildered. How did that get to talk to high school girls? Eventually, I got out of those toxic environments and went to my dream school. Very funny. Show the real one, please. For the first time, I was without supervision, surrounded by musicians, and free to experiment and eventually discovered there were LGBT Orthodox Jews. It all started to gel. I came out slowly. Most didn't care. The more religious ones were concerned with what their rabbis thought. But my true friends were happy I figured out what made me so weird. My mother was, and still is, my greatest ally she supports me 100%, but she's from a different generation. Like, um, she wanted to meet my friend Jessica. My mother asked, what is Jessica? I knew what she meant. I answered, a woman, Ma. Ma still wasn't sure. Well, what was she before? At Eshel events, you can meet people with such amazing stories and lives. Among our Hevra are many people who left the ultra-Orthodox world to come out. At Eshel events, they can be their full and unique selves. Many of us feel the same way. Even during lockdown, we're seeing each other virtually. Like many, I haven't seen my hairstylist in months. But if that's the worst of my problems in this health crisis, I'm very fortunate. I thank God partner and my friends for being supportive. Let's all chip in and do our best to support each other. I'll see you all soon. Peace out. Mm, you're right. Shalom. Boy, that Rabbi Bellino sure gets around him, doesn't he? An Orthodox Jewish trans woman comic board member of Eshel 
You'd think she'd have a lot more friends.